As I sit on my throne of thought, holding my dark mule near, I've come back to answer your question. As the Magnus Sight movement marches forward to one million subscribers. Nice and clean. All right, now. <laughs> this one comes to me from Morph. Is that short for Morpheus? But anyway, this is what he says. <laughs> you, may, you may be laughing this one, man. Well, to sum it up, most of my social life with friends or associates, I have always been the most favored out of the bunch. Say, for example, my friends are heading out for a night on the town. They will call or text me to join, saying that it's not the same without me. Or if I won't go, they will just come over to my place and hang out. I don't mind being the center of attention, but I feel as if I always have to show them. Wait, I always I feel as if I have to always show them that there is more to life than just me and partying. <laughs> I know they look up to me. They all told me at certain points of time that they did. But to me, I'm just me. Not to sound arrogant, but I'm pretty damn handsome. Funny with a sense of humor. In shape and not shy with the ladies. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just a regular human being like the rest. So my question is, why do my friends put me on the pedestal? Well, to be handsome, uh, and have a sense of humor, and be good with the ladies actually isn't average. And it doesn't make you a guy like anybody else. It makes you above average. But my question to you, Morph, you're so good looking, why don't you have a picture of yourself on your profile so all the Magnusitas can see you? Now you see, you done set yourself up for disaster because now you done, you done put yourself on a pedestal by saying that shit. Um, so if anybody does see your picture, they're going to find every fucking flaw you got. So I would say don't put your picture up in your profile. All right? So anyway, let me answer your question. I don't think it's as much as them putting you on a pedestal as it is they find you an integral part of the friend group, of the clique, okay? Um, if you think about it, whenever there's a group of friends that are tight-knit, four, five, six of you, when one of you ain't there, it's always like, damn, you know, it's not just as fun, it ain't as fun without you. But I get it, because I get invited to a lot of parties by my friends and when they would invite me a lot of times I'd be running late or something they'd be like yo man when you getting here you coming man cause we waiting for you <laughs> like we waiting for you <laughs> and I think it's because I'm funny you know they, they like me to entertain them you know they can carry on without me but I'm integral part of the friendship you know and I think that you know a lot of times we would go out we'd be like yo we're such and such Man, he ain't come down. You know, I would be like that because I find them integral parts of my friendship. You know, my 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 group of friends. You know, my clique. So I think you you play your part, and um, yeah, I'm sure they do look up to you. I don't know if they put you on a pedestal and worship you, but I'm sure they look up to you. Like I've had friends in the past that I have looked up to for specific reasons. I never held anyone as a god in my eyes. But I always, there, there were certain people that had certain, you know, like I got a friend that, you know, he was really uh, set financially, you know, he was really good. So I kind of looked at his drive. I liked that. I admired that. You know, there was another guy I knew that was, you know, really good with the ladies. I liked that about him, you know, um, that, you know, he was a great talker with the ladies. Um, there was another friend I had, he was in really good shape, you know, and I was like, yeah, you know, he's really good. Man, I gotta, I gotta stay on mine, shit, you know. You're, 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 a lot of times, different friends in your life, there's, they hold certain things to strive for because a lot of times your friends hold certain attributes that you want. I mean, some of your friends may actually have attributes that you may want. And uh, I, I think that's a cool thing. I mean, I had a couple of friends growing up um, 
<laughs> both of them were, were front better with the ladies and dressed better than me. And it's kind of funny because some of that shit rubbed off on me as I, the longer I hung out with them. So, you know, I, like I said, I don't think they're putting you on the pedestal. But to answer your question, if you feel as though they're putting you on the pedestal, you probably feel that way because they do look up to you. That is the reason why. They look up to you. You are very important to them in their lives. I mean, they all want to come over to your house because apparently you're so fun. So stop being so motherfucking fun if you don't want all the attention. Yes, I understand. You want them to get out there and you might may want them to create their own handsomeness and, you know, create their own sense of humor and, you know, go get at go getting attitude and start talking to the ladies. And maybe they use you as some type of uh, type of crutch in some form or fashion you know i mean but hey it is what it is that's life a lot of times you know a lot of mediocre looking women want to go out with the pretty girlfriend because she draws all the men in and she may be the most talkative and all that other stuff it's just how it is man and it was through time they'll probably learn from you and create their own you know Go get them attitude and, you know, handsomeness. Um, yeah. So, morph, you handsome devil. You, you man of humor. You man that's good with the ladies. Hello, I'm morph. No, just morph. Shaken, not stirred. One million subscribers. Woo! <laughs>